Hey, this is Ronnie. And this is Reese. And, and this, this is Soft 30. And of course we have DJ Q Web. And we have D. What's up? Happy New Year, y'all. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up? Yeah. Of 2022. I love you guys. Y'all awesome. I love you too. How's your week? It's been a bit off. You know, that's why I got this cup in my hand. But my new year, woo, I had a real good time, y'all. I stayed up like a whole big girl, left when everybody else left. I had a good ass time. One of the twins was like, Oh, I ain't never see you dance this much. But first of all, we was in a setting where I can dance. Like normally we chilling at somebody's house or something. So of course I'm not gonna be dancing and acting like I ain't, I lost my name on mine. I can be dancing sometimes at the house parties. But I don't stay that long. Yeah, you can be I, gone. I be gone before. <laughs> I'll be gone. Yeah, or sleep before we get too late. And um, but yeah, I had a really really good time. I think I looked amazing. And you know what? Cute. I might go ahead and send you a photo so you can pop somewhere yes. up here because. I think I look real good. Mm-hmm. Not to toot my own horn, but mm-hmm. thank you. So, um, got you. Thank you, sis. so yeah, um, my week has been okay. Um, you know, this is kind of like my first week back to work since I had COVID. It's like you've been at work for like a month. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's <laughs> been about three weeks, um, honestly. And so, yeah, it's definitely been a while. And, um, you know, I'm happy to be back in there. You know, so, because I love, even though I complain about that damn job, I love it. It's like a love-hate relationship. A real bad one. (laughs) Love the work, hate the company. Right. (laughs) Right. And so, um, yeah, um, I actually decided, first of all, I'm still working on my vision board. At first, I was going to rush and get it done because normally I like to have it done before the new year. Mm -hmm. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to manifest it regardless. So I'm going to make it now. And what I might do is only make it for six months and then do another one in the summer for another six months. Yeah, because, you know, I've I realized that longer term goals stress me out. Yeah. It stress me out. If I'm not on, on progress with it, I get more stressed out. I procrastinate more. So I'm going to see if six months of, you know, did you, did you join that training yesterday that I sent to you? I did. I did. I was still working. So I, I didn't like pay attention, pay attention. But what I did here and a little bit of notes I did take, I was like, I can do it. Mm-hmm. Cause, and, and what I took from it was, I mean, I took a lot of stuff from it, but would you just say how to, to break it down? Because they were talking about vision boards and how people don't stick to their new year's resolution and stuff like that. And it's like, your when you plan stuff that's long-term, your brain go into like overload and overthinking and yeah. It feels like it has to like shut down so you don't continuously do what your resolution is. Like I don't I don't make New Year's resolutions, but my vision board is kind of my resolution. It's like right. this is my plan for the year. Yeah. Kind um, of the same for me. Right. And some stuff I get done and some stuff I don't. And maybe I should break it down within yeah. a six month, mm-hmm. three month, three you know, yeah, something so like that. To get stuff done. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, anyway, I, I had, um, yeah, I'm working on my vision board and hopefully, you know, it all goes good um, with it. Um, you know, cause I, first of all, I love doing vision boards, but you know, it kind of, I kind of hold myself accountable when I make a vision board. I didn't make one last year. And then I'm going to actually, I made space on my wall. I already had a little bit of space, but I, I added actually two things. I added one of those things that you could put like, write a note on and thumbtack it to the board. And then I got another one that me and I are going to write our wants and our needs. And we're going to do it for every two weeks. That, Cause we're trying not to spend money on eating out every day. We waste a crap ton of money. Mm-hmm. So what we're going to try to do is, you know, break things down and budget more and, you know, spend money more wisely and stuff so we can save more faster. Because not only am I saving for a house, I say I did hear that. Be safe in these streets, guys. Yes. I don't know if you guys heard that through the camera. Um, but anyway, um, so, you know, yeah, I'm not only am I saving for, like, a house in emergencies, I'm also saving for the business. So it's like a lot of money is getting pulled to savings. And then I also just piled on a few more bills 
So, you know, I'm kind of like, I'm trying to, you know, I ain't trying to keep my head above water. I'm well above water, but I'm trying to, you know, get more focused on spending my money on my goals versus spending my money on whatever, you know? Yeah. Makes sense? It does. Good, good. I'm really, really trying so hard not to shop this year because I, I shopped so much. And, like, if you look, if you ever go back and, like, look on, like, if you order from, like, um, I know a lot, I've ordered from a lot from uh, Shein or um, Fashion Over, but if you like go and look at your last transactions and then it's like a list of shit and all that shit add up, <laughs> what I can buy with that shit? Right. So I'm, try- I'm really trying not to buy no clothes, no shoes, no nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm like, the money I-, I spend sometimes splurging is, you know, mm-hmm. I can just do better and I know I can do better. So um, that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm just trying to do better. Um, and and go from there, see how it goes. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, that's how my year is pretty much starting. I'm not gonna talk about this other piece, but I wanna say a little bit of tragic thing happened today and I'm very upset, but I'm doing a really good job hiding it, okay? Anyway. That's what the wine is for. I, I probably don't need it since I'm stressed. But anyway, you can cry off camera. Uh, we can. I did earlier. I was like, "Who the fuck? Is, who, the, who the fuck are you crying, girl? You a hood ass nigga? You a jeep? Mama ain't raised no bitch. Why? What's wrong with me? Anyway, um, so um, oh, you know what? And and Mm-mm. D or Q, if I, if this is uh something that I'm not supposed to talk about because it might be an actors, you know what? I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm gonna talk about it if if it doesn't go to a uh, small claim court. So somebody just remind me of a case that I'm on to talk about. Okay. I'm gonna try. <laughs> but other than that, you know, I guess my week has been good. Um, it's like, oh, my face. Yo, I don't know if y'all can tell because I'm kind of far back. My face is, COVID messed it up, man. And it's probably from stress. It could be from stress too. And I just like eliminated a, a big part of it. But um, it could be stress too, but I really think it's mainly the COVID stuff. Like it looked like I have a black eye because of obviously the COVID stuff. Um, and then I, I stopped taking this. Um, I used to put on my daughter's medicine that had a steroid in it. So I tried to wean myself off taking that. And since I stopped using that on my face, my face has went completely downhill. So I might go back to using it because I, I can't like my, my face, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Physically, I mean, my face is it. I ain't got no body. You so, do, girl. She she be tripping. She be tripping. Her little butt, you, you know, know or everything. It's, it's not no more. But you know, what is that song? It must be your ass because it ain't your face. But I'm the opposite. It's my face that ain't my ass. <laughs> you know what? Just making up that song. When it, how, what is it? Trip drill? How you pronounce it? I think it's trip drill. drill. I was like, what's a trip drill? <laughs> I, just a couple weeks ago, I said, what's a trip drill? Because the song was on. And then, duh, it's your ass and not your face. That's what the song says. I'm so retarded. <laughs> Learn something new. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Um, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much like my week for real, for real. Like, I'm really gonna, um, you know, buckle down. Every time I say I'm gonna buckle down, you know, I buckle down in some aspects, but I don't like 100% buckle down. I like 60, 50% buckle down or something like that. So, you know, now I'm going to have more time to like really, really focus because um, it's a lot I want to get done. And actually this weekend, I'm going to try to do two things. I'm going to go look at this trailer. Um, but if I don't buy it, I actually found a um, a decent price trailer lot, like a car lot, but it's like trailers. Wow, anyway, it's, um, it's in Frederick's, I think Frederick Bird, I think. Um, anyway, so I might go. Like he's a man. It's like two hours. Then it might be Frederick County. Because that one's only a few, you know, less than an hour away. So anyway, it's one of those. Even if it is a two-hour away one, I'm going to go check it out. Because, um, you know, I really... Oh, we should. I really, really do want to, um, you know, get the trailer and start, you know, doing my stuff. Because I really, really want to start promoting next month. So... I know it's I know it's kind of short notice, but I yeah. think I think I can do it if I like really really put my foot down on myself. Mm-hmm. I can absolutely do it. Um, the only thing that's gonna stop me is it's freaking cold. Yeah, it's cold, and I do not like. I don't appreciate cold that one bit. So I don't, that's what I'm worried about. So 
what is this okay sorry about that so anyway yeah like i was saying that's pretty much my week how about yours um my week was pretty good first of all i just want to start off by saying that new year's was definitely fucking lit it was fucking lit like i had the most incredible time actually the whole weekend i had a really great time you know what was funny about the the um, New Year though? Like everybody was downstairs, y'all. Crowds and crowds of people downstairs. We was upstairs because we was like, Mm-mm, Stand we came to party way. without friends. We ain't come for the COVID. <laughs> and it was funny because like it was a lot of white people, of course, but all the black people was finding us coming to party with us. Even even the white people, like it was a lot of people trying to come up to with our party or whatever. We like, no, you can't sit with us. Right. Like, oh, no, we ain't gonna do that. They, we let them party. Yeah. <laughs> we let them party with us. We some saucies for real. Y'all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we was like, come on, take a shot. It's shot it's cool. Cool. Um, but yeah, so it was really lit. I love going out. I love dressing up on that. So it was like anything theme, I'm with it. Um, you say a thing more than likely I'll come out. Yeah, like <laughs> I love to shop for the, the theme. I love to get cute, get like fully into it. Like, I just love this shit. This is the, every time Mary have a party, it's a theme. <laughs> just fucking love it. Um, but yeah, so then the fucking snow, it came out of nowhere. Like, like, some break. people might have known about it, but because like lately when, they hear, when you hear about snow, it really doesn't snow. So I wasn't prepared. So when I got up, Monday morning, and my friend like, oh, it's really snowing. So I'm looking, I'm on the back side of the building, right? So I'm like, it's don't really, it didn't look like it was nothing. So I'm like, let's go to the grocery store. It's like eight o'clock in the morning. I'm like, let's go to the grocery store. I go out front, bitch. It's shit everywhere. It's snow everywhere. People stuck. It's like chaos. It's like a whole different world. It's like a y'all. It was crazy. So I mean, I'm sure y'all know because y'all live here, but. So then I'm like, we cleaned off my car, trying to go to my car. You know, I got a new ass car. I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna make it. But I did drive my car to Deep Creek before and it was snowing and I made it, you know? So I was like, I can probably do it. But no, I had to go get restruck and drive. <laughs> and even when I tell you, like it was cars, it was trucks and stuff that was bigger than Reese's car that was stuck like right outside our gate. So I'm like, damn. And my friend like, let's turn around, let's go back. I'm like, no. Nah. <laughs> Shit, I ain't about to stall. We don't know how long I'm about to be that I'm getting. <laughs> like, I literally had no food because I was just, I don't, I mean, I do grocery shop, but it's not often. Um, I eat out, which is not good. But anyway, um, so are we in the car? I got my face all to the glass because mm-hmm. it's snow and the, the fucking defrost wasn't working right or I don't know what I was doing that wasn't right. So I'm like, well, we, let's go down Southern Avenue and get to Pennsylvania Avenue because Pennsylvania Avenue will be clear. No, the fuck it wasn't. That's why it's still snowing. <laughs> it was nowhere was clear at all. But we made it to the 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 giant and back safe. We didn't get stuck or nothing. Like I felt bad for the other people that, that was stuck. Oh wait, I lied. Until we got back, trying to get back into the gate, it was a car that was stuck in between the entrance gate <laughs> for like twenty minutes. So I'm like, we made it all this time. And then we gotta be stuck behind this damn car because we can't get into the, the gate to get back home. So, and then we couldn't go into the bottom gate because somebody had to come out for that gate to open. So we just had to sit out until they finally moved the car. And it, the, it was it was a girl that was driving the car, and it was two guys that was trying to help like push the car and stuff. So then my friend, because she a girl, they didn't want to listen to her. When I'm like, like push the snow, because they didn't have like no broom, no shovels, no nothing. So I'm like, well, push the snow from under the tires. So um, they, she got out like, you know, do this, do that. They didn't want to listen to her. They kept us. I'm like, girl, just get back in the car. You out there freezing and they not listening to you. I don't know what, what's wrong with men. They don't want to take advice from females. Like, we can't help or know what we don't. Y'all not the only one that go through the snow shit. We got to go deal with the shit, too. Right. And Bryce, did you fart? Because that's just disgusting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But anyway. <laughs> so. I don't, I like the snow when it's falling down, but I don't like it when it's stuck and it's a lot and it's shit is everywhere. Mm-hmm. We did get two days off of work. So yes, I appreciate that. Well, not off work, we had to work from home. Mm-hmm. But still, the comfort of my own home is fucking awesome. And tomorrow, because it's going to snow again tonight, we are. But, but what if it don't snow a lot? 
this this bitch said we ain't gotta come she said see you monday so dang they don't give me that luxury man listen i'm not playing cheese cheese she was talking about that shit all motherfucking week she's like listen i'm gonna see you on monday so i said when we was leaving just now i said I would like to say see y'all tomorrow, but I really don't want to. She said, um, I'm not going to say see you tomorrow. I will see you on Monday. I was like, okay. That's what you had to say. Right. Shit. Um, I know in the morning, I'm going to be texting my boss with the eyeballs. It's like, what we doing? What you want me to do, sir? (laughs) But yeah, so hopefully we do not have to work tomorrow because I really, really, really don't want to go. Um, But I will if I have to. Uh, But speaking of work, I have found out some shady shit, y'all. Ooh, some shady tea. shit. And I I don't know if I'll still be working there after this because I'm like really, really pissed off. So I'm gonna tell it because I'm a, I mean she wanna know anyway. So anyway, a couple of weeks ago, we had to do a self-evaluation. Mind you, we did it last year. We do we do every every job you have to do. So I'm like, so. So I ain't seen nothing last year because I'm like, you know, I'm just, you know, we're well, not just starting, but it wasn't like a full year. So I'm like, okay. So this year I'm like, so do we get raises? Like, what's going on? Like, we gotta do the same evaluation. We're gonna do like what's what happens after this. This bitch laughed at me and said, Oh, it's a nonprofit. We don't get raises. I said, Oh, okay. No, I ain't ever worked for a nonprofit before. So I'm like, okay. So then I'm like, okay, fuck it. I don't like how you laughed at me, first of all. I don't like that shit. But I'm like, okay. So then some time go on, like a couple days go on. Then my coworker, her boyfriend worked for the same company. So she's like, well, he he it's a different program though. So she's like, well, he got a raise. Like he got a raise. So I'm like, oh, okay. I so my old my old coworker that left back over the summer, he came to visit last week. So we were talking about it. And he was like, well, I mean, I got a raise last year. We started the same day. So how did you get a raise and I didn't get a raise? So now I need a raise from last year and this year. So I'm like, okay. So then I called the manager over my manager. So I'm like, what's up? Like, do we get raises or what? So he's like, yeah, we do. Like everything has to be in by a certain time, by this date. And then your, your manager should have a meeting with you and let you know your raise and if you deserve a raise, blah, 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 blah. All this, right? So I'm like, this bitch trying to play with me. So, either you don't think I deserve a raise, or you don't just don't want to give me a raise. And I run that whole motherfucking shit, okay? Because she don't know her fucking head from her fucking ass. And if you think I don't need a raise, then I'm gonna tell her this because I know she ain't gonna say nothing about the. the, the but you're um, not gonna say it aggressive. I'm, nope. I, and we gonna need nope, our curse no. Words. Because that can Listen, get you, that's going to get you written up. And we don't want to get written up. Okay, we I'm going to try to be. I, so you're going to go as professional, but as, you know, you know how them people that get smart with you in a real professional way? I hate it. You got to do that. She she does that. And it really pisses me off. And she I, did, her I, did I go back at her aggressively. And, and it's, it's a way that I'm not supposed to be treating my manager, but I... I just sometimes can't help it, especially when I feel like you are playing with me or talking to me any kind of way. I don't like that because at the end of the day, I'm a person and I'm an important person. Like, I ain't just no raggedy old nothing piece of shit. Like, I'm something. Don't fucking play with me. So then I'm like, last year when I first started the NACA program and she had she had just bought her house and I was just starting so she was like, you know, it's hard. Da, da, da. I'm like, well, I'm trying to buy a DC. And she's like, oh, oh, let's do that little laugh again. Oh, honey, you don't make enough. Oh, okay. I fucking <laughs> know that I don't make enough to fucking buy a house in DC. That's what the fuck I'm saving for. And I'm not going to move from my little bit, my apartment to like the Florida house in DC. I'm not moving and buying a house in Merlin. That's not what I'm going to do because it's not what I want. So then, if you know that, if you know that I'm working toward buying a house and you know that it's up to you to give me a fucking raise and you know I run that whole fucking program. It's, you, well, it's not up to her to give you a raise. You got to demand it. And so I am. So and now I know because I didn't know last year. So now I know. And then I, I can guarantee she ain't going to say shit. So it's, it's coming up in like two weeks of the deadline of when everything needs to be in. The week of that, 
and when she don't say nothing, I'm going to say, so you want to meet about this? Because she don't know that I know. And you should also record the conversation. I am. And it's a lot of shit that I already wanted to talk to her about. So I'm going to do... Yeah. I'm, going, I'm going to try to be very, very professional and I am working on my professionalism. Is that how you pronounce it, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, because all the time I don't sound professional and stuff and I'm working on it. I'm really, really working on it. How are you working on it? I'm trying to say things properly. Are and you taking any diction classes? No. Are you uh, working on expanding your vocabulary? Yes. You said diction classes? Diction. Wow. I'm going to look that up. Diction is the, is, you know, like dictionary? Yeah. The proper way of pronouncing and saying words? Yeah, I'm going to look that up. I I really need it. Yeah, (laughs) I need to do that. Um, But no, I've been working with one of my friends who's actually been in these job like heifer for the I need to start purpose. charging people for this because people don't mean <laughs> I mean we not people though I'm not saying y'all I'm just saying mm-hmm. send me this out mm-hmm. <laughs> nah, like, I, I think that's really a, a great thing because especially you know people that are just pretty tired to get into like the professional corporate yeah the world realm yeah. You know, work on work on some uh, synonyms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I definitely. So, so and and, and how to write proper emails. That's ooh, that, my written communication is wow. terrible. Wow. <laughs> I, like I can I can turn on my on you know my professional. Do y'all do y'all also, offer those services at at your program? No. Yeah, not those two in particular, but we we have other, um, you know. Who who wants to teach them? Because <laughs> I'm trying to learn. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So, so you know, why, don't y'all, why don't y'all why don't y'all start your journey and that. learn it, and then and then have a proposal? And once you learn, just like you learn how to do your nails, you can start write up a proposal, uh, teaching uh, diction in um, professional manner um, at the community. Cause that's something that's definitely needed, you know. Cause yes. if people are talked to and treated a certain way when they're spoken to, you know, they they tend to act a certain way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you are right. And, and, and you can get a grant and then just cut me in, but you know, whatever. You can probably make that like a whole Please. little nonprofit thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And and I'm. I'm thinking of different because it's when you just said nails, like I'm take I'm gonna take another uh nail like design class and stuff because I'm trying to get better because after I have this conversation with my manager, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be still working there. And see, but that's the thing. Like, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna quit, but I also when I'm upset and I feel like you. somebody playing with me and like you like if you don't feel like I deserve a raise from all of this shit that this I just when like, keeping it real goes wrong. She don't do shit. I run everything. Like I, this, I am confused to why she think I don't fucking deserve a raise. That's so, the again, one. so Yo. it's it's your it's then your uh obligation to articulate why you deserve a raise. Because I had to do the what same goal, thing. What what are the goals set for you? What are the expectations set for you in a person in your position? Are you exceeding those goals and expectations? Are you meeting those goals and expectations? You know, like I am this. overly exceeding, and she says the shit every day. So, so then, then write it. Day, so write it down. Don't it's, say, I, well, it, 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 listen, it, what, what you talking about? What somebody say? Write it down. Put it on paper. Say, D, what are my goals and expectations? Have I met them? You know what I mean? What am I supposed to do? Is a quota? Uh, whatever. It is what it is. You know what you might should do? She don't listen to podcasts, right? Um, I, I don't know. But anyway, I don't know if this will work or not. But you should do something like have her, you know, you should be like, hey, I need a reference um, for this program I'm trying to get into 
to further my education or something. Can you write me a reference? Mm -hmm. And then use that as like another, you know, because in the reference, she got to say, you know, not got to, but you know, if she going, if she agrees, she's going to say all positive things about you and how you do your job and things like that. Ain't nobody writing references. Y'all, y'all write, no, a reference. No, 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 I'm talking about. A reference you write in the person reviews and signs. But I'll be like, damned if I'm not the reference. Like, you can also bring that to her and be like, well, you're saying that, like, if she'd be like, oh, you're not meeting your expectations or blah, blah, blah. Like, you'd be like, well, in this reference that you, you gave me to, you know, you wrote for me, you're telling me that, I, you know, you're saying that I'd be blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, yeah, I'm saying it, it's, 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 but Reese, like, it, it's, it shouldn't be a trick. It should be something that's put forth straight on the table. Because if you are providing this, it should be stated and it should be uh, accounted for. You should be, uh, uh, what's the word, compensated for. Like, so it shouldn't be something that you want to hide or trick her, her into say it. Say yeah, that shit out that loud and in public. The, how who she, she is. is. Yeah. I, yeah, I like think she, she knew how she was. For herself, she doesn't give a damn about her workers and i mean that in a financial and a mental what? and a emotional like it literally any kind of way she does not care but it don't oh it this is where you have to manage your boss your boss can't do nothing like they can't just do anything they responsible for how, how they act. it's Probably not about them. telling her about herself like <laughs> No, you 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 do your job in a professional manner, and then you you have it noted that your job is done in a professional manner. That you meet the goals that are set forth for you, and not only that do you meet those goals, you exceed them. It ain't a trick. So now that I'm exceeding the goals that set forth, I need some more bread. That's it, and that's all. Or I'm gonna be looking to leave. That's how, that's how I work in the corporate world. And that's w w exactly what you just said. That's exactly where I am now. Like, I don't I don't curse people out. I don't none of that. Like, anybody that I help on a daily basis can tell you everything that I do. I overly exceed myself. Like, I'm not bullshitting you. I'm not hyping it up. I'm not none of that. Like, All I right. control and run the whole program. Everybody so do that. Do that. I am do that the with your Do her. that with your evaluation write up your write up all the stuff that you did i said in my evaluation already and i wish i would have known i wish i would have talked to the the upper management before i sent it in because i would have did it differently but you bullshit it on your evaluation I, I didn't bullshit on it i did it i just would have done it better or yeah so you <laughs> Something I don't know. It's, it's lessons learned. It's lesson learned. Things we, we grow from. It's no need to be upset about it. You know, we yeah. we take these. We 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 move on. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's just money is not. I I I talk to people about this all the time. You you ah uh, reach. Are you just looking to give your employees raises if they ain't asking for you? Like hey, you know what? I'm gonna give you thirty extra dollars an hour, girl. That's what my point. Is. I asked that. I said, "Do we get raises?" She said, <laughs> oh, "No, that's so cute. Well, we work for a nonprofit. Don't do that if we get raises." Because had well, I not I, I, again, went above her, again, had so, I not went above her head, I would not know that we got raises. All right. So if she knows that, that's a that is that is not something to. It's not even be mad about. It's address it properly like i'm being misinformed about my job like you know what i'm saying address it properly go through the proper channels it's not it's nothing to be mad about like man i i if people really knew all of the different bs i you know that you go through that i go through with my job and and all kinds of stuff like but i'm not complaining about it you push it through the proper channels you do the paperwork and you get it resolved like it is what it is people are still people like people aren't perfect people like all of these businesses and corporations are run by people so people do make mistakes so we got to take the emotions out of it and get back down to the papers and and with with where that bread at what are my goals what are my expectations am i meeting them am i uh am i 
exceeding them or I'm far exceeding them. That just point blank frank. If I am, give me my bread. If I'm not, I think I am. I'm looking to leave. So don't be mad when I dip on your ass. Everybody knew in my last job. I was like, okay, watch. I bet I bounce. Everybody knew it. They was like, I bet you don't. I said, okay. Just give me, give me time. Let me do it the right way. And I took all that BS for all that time. I did it the right way and I dipped. And can nobody, once I dipped, can nobody say shit? They like, oh, wait, 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 wait. You leaving now? Yeah, motherfucker, I told you. Okay, well, I'm going to do that. That's my plan. About that, when keeping it real, go wrong. Spaz out on it. You ain't tell me I ain't supposed to get a raise. What the fuck is wrong with you, bitch? Bitch, blah, I blah, blah, blah. No, I just don't. I just don't like the fact that you she keep fucking laughing at me like I'm a fucking joke. When? Well, you, well, okay. So be serious then. If you want to be taken and treated like a professional, act like it. I do. Not if you spazzing out and, and having emotional outbursts. I, I don't know. I'm just going based upon what you said. I don't know what goes on at work. But if you're telling me you have an emotional outburst and spazzing out and yelling and cursing and shit, that's not professional. I don't I don't curse. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. I was going by what you said. I don't curse, but I sometimes get loud with her because she's okay. a bitch. It's we not, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna suggest that. Cause this, I'm getting mad all over again. Let's think about this shit. Get your bread, but, man. Stop playing. Yes. So my I am I am going to work harder on like on my nails, my micro shade and braiding, all this stuff because I don't know. We're just like I don't get me wrong, I love my job, I love what I do. I just don't know what direction it's going to go in after this. Like I said, all I can do is try. I'm not perfect. We'll see when we get there. But Yes, it's not it's not end all be all. Although I do really really like it, it's not the end all be all for that. But <laughs> anyway, so let's move on. So y'all, I don't know if y'all seen this, but did y'all? It was it was a video, and I can send it to y'all if y'all didn't see it. But it was a video of like the fucking ocean on fire, and it was no oil, no none of that right there. But the water was like on fire. No, because the fucking news and government people don't tell you about this shit. Are you having a conspiracy theory right now? Or is it kind of? Or is it real? No, this is real. But a little bit of both. Yeah, but this is real because I googled it earlier. I'm like, no, this can't be. And I googled it, and it was it, it did come up. I mean, no, granted, it happened a couple months ago, but still, how is the fucking ocean? On fire. Maybe. Why is it people talking about that? Why? Well, like, because it they, depends on what country. Maybe if it happened in a different country, that would not affect the United States. Of course, they would only talk a little bit about it. On the news. They talk about the corona. That's, that's affecting the nope. United States. Because they trying to, to get our brains to be on something else, stuck on the corona, while other shit is happening in the world. I, I can't believe And it. do you know? That they want people to get the booster shot. They want you to get the 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 first shot, the second shot, and a booster shot every fucking six months. Oh, I didn't know it was every six months. Every six months. They trying to turn people into aliens or they putting some type of implants or something in people. They doing something. I don't think it's implants. Um, you know, uh, I'm not gonna say what I think it is because I honestly ain't think too much in it. The shit ain't right, and it's some shit that's going on in this world that we don't know about, and possibly we'll never know about until the shit just happens. And you know, I'm a big fan of The Walking Dead, and I think the government be fucking shit up. I gotta and survive that day. Probably gonna turn everybody into aliens or zombies. Probably zombies, aliens. You can't get really turned into if you're in human form unless you like mate with the joint and make an alien baby. Oh, well, zombies. I want to it's talk. some shit that's happening. But really, I want y'all to Google it and maybe I'll send this y'all that the fucking ocean was on fire and nobody said shit about it. Oh, why was the ocean on fire? People did talk about this. Do you know why it was on fire? Hell no! 
know. But I know that they said it was no oil or nothing in that water right there and it was on fire. That's not true. So it's it was the underwater oil. gas. Oil was still over the water. It, it, it's possible. It's, it's not just, impossible. It's listen, great. Ronnie, Ronnie, calm down. Just look. Just <laughs> <laughs> Look up the information. So, I googled it. And, and like I said, it's possible. I'm not saying that, that that that's the reason why that specific ocean is on fire. I'm saying that it is possible. What is possible? But, like if during the movies when the boat crashed into the water and then like it'd be like little fire. Well, I guess that's not a good example because most of the pieces be on fire. Y'all are cracking me up right now. I'm trying not to. <laughs> it was no pieces. It was no pieces of boat in the water. It was no pieces of nothing that something crashed or floated in the bottom or nothing. And it was in the middle of the water. So if if oil or gas or whatever fell into the ocean, how did it get into the middle of the ocean and Maybe catch on fire? Through. A so it was a leak. Oh, it was yeah. a leak from a natural. It's a leak from a natural gas pipeline. They pump a natural gas from underneath the water, and they so they its pipelines run along the sea floor. It's a leak from one of it, so it was leaking and it caught a fire. Caught the flame. It could be that. I was going to say that, but I actually had I didn't know the proper language. That's why I didn't say it. Um, but yeah. It, it's true, Ronnie. But I'm not saying it's, that that's it's it. always y'all no, trying, trying to be no it's trying not, to be no, against me and because, shit. Because I'm saying that it might not be that. I'm saying what he's saying is true. But it could be anything. You know, it's global. And then I was great. <laughs> so I don't know for <laughs> I don't know for sure where I was gonna go with that. So <laughs> I don't know. I just think, but y'all, y'all agree with me that it's a lot of shit that's going on in this Absolutely. world that the Absolutely. government is doing shit. Uh, you know, the now thing that is, that is a fact. We it, it is a fact for sure. Nobody disagree with that. I do, however, think that you know, um, it, it's a lot of scientists uh, more than than the government. I agree with that too. The yes. over there, station five, no forty eight, no station one. <laughs> Station somewhere. Them people over there fucking shit up. I don't even know if that was the number. <laughs> I don't know. The station place. Yeah. I'm, I'm about to be Bryce. Yeah. Um, but I, I you know how I am. I'm such a conspiracy theorist. It's ridiculous. I actually keep a lot of stuff to myself so a lot of people don't think I'm a little cray cray. But no, I absolutely understand what you're saying and things like that. So don't think that I'm just like with D on his side, like, you know, I, the pipelines do go through the ocean. I'm trying and to keep them up on it's, the any, it's any number of reasons of how that could happen. It really, really is. Hmm. So that's all I'm saying. I guess. Maybe one of these hot springs done got too hot. I don't know. She said, I Googled it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I ain't playing. Look, long as you ain't seen what Wikipedia is true. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes Google is right to me. No, for real. But speaking of water, did y'all see that people were, you know, the, the home kits that they've been giving out, that people have been testing the um the faucet water and it's been coming back positive? I believe that too. I believe that. I mean, some people probably only try to do it for some little attention or something, especially if they post it on social media. But I absolutely believe that, you know, the water could be, you know, contaminated with the virus. Yeah. I mean, you know, I absolutely believe that. I'm not saying that that's what's happening, but I'm saying that if I found out that it was happening, I would not be shocked. <laughs> that's what I'm going to say. That's crazy because I'd be using a sink of water when I'd be making my teas and shit. Warm it up. Mm -hmm. I use bottled water. For my ooze and noodles, I use bottled bottle water. Like, I, I make my noodles with single water. Because if you boil it, it's supposed to be clean, right? Y'all look like funny. Is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make, you gotta use Oh, you can't be using no Fiji water to make no noodles. Fiji water and oodles and noodles. I'm real bougie. You bougie as <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't, even, I don't even drink Fiji water no more. Mm -mm. I used to love it though. 
put some put some uh, yeah, 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 what waters you like, what waters you don't, stuff like it's a, that. It's a water in a blue container. I don't remember. Remember when we was in the store and the lady had told us about that water? Oh, yeah. I cannot remember the name of that. I'm, I'm going to try to think about it and let y'all know uh, next week. But it's, it's in a blue container. It's real good. It's real good. Damn, what's the name of that? You don't know. I, yeah, I can't remember. Um, well, anyway, I'm moving on today. Um, y'all, so I had seen this post. Um, what's her name? Uh, Sierra, the one from uh, Love and Hip Hop, she had posted it, and it was like it was a cup of noodles with a lobster tail on the on the, the noodles, right? And I sent it to y'all. Um, and it said, "Now, because y'all know the Powerball was like six something million, six hundred something million dollars, which I was playing them numbers, I was hoping to hit. But and and it said at the top of the picture, it was like um, dropping hits, not telling nobody that you hit the that you hit the number but dropping hints so it was like the couple of noodles but it had the lobster tail on it but <laughs> but if y'all hit the number the one that just went out last night which i think like three people had hit as a matter of fact i should check my numbers because maybe i'm one of them hey. That's my sister. but which y'all <laughs> would y'all tell anybody that y'all was the one that hit the number for for 600 million um i would tell in the beginning, I would only tell probably not, well, not probably, Naya would know. And maybe you, but you can't hold water. I ain't gonna tell nobody. I think, I think she'll sneak and tell my mother. My mother? And then, and then everybody will know. <laughs> she will be like, Ray, guess what? And then Ren and Dad will know. Then I don't know if Ren might tell the rain. <laughs> but you know what? It'd be so funny. I mean, let me get back on this on this subject. But it'd be it'd be so funny because like in my, in my immediate family, right? Somebody have a secret, right? And they and they be like, "Oh, Reese, I'ma tell you, but don't tell nobody." But then Reese would be like, "Oh, hey, Ronnie, I'ma tell you, but don't tell." But depending on what the secret is. Yeah. But then she be like, "I'ma tell you, but don't tell nobody." Then I'd be like, "Okay, yeah, really mom, I'ma tell you, but don't <laughs> tell nobody." But anyway, the whole immediate family ends up knowing. But and then eventually, you know, some whoever secret was tell everybody. Yeah, but. And we just be acting like surprised, like, oh. Yeah, it, it depends on what the secret is. Depends on if I hold it or not. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, and you know, I probably would tell Lorraine too because I would be asking, you know, hey, what, help me, help me. <laughs> like, cause I wouldn't know. If, I mean, I, I obviously would know what to do with majority of it. But like, even signing documents and stuff, like, she's my go-to person. I don't hardly ever sign. Well, aside from cleaning contracts, I don't front sign any other contract deal without consulting her first. Mm -hmm. So I will probably even hire her as my like secretary or something. I, I at something. Bookkeeper. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know something. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Well, your list is short because I will tell definitely my whole media family. I will tell y'all because y'all my peoples. That's it. Wait, y'all is in the podcast or y'all is in D and Q? D and Q. Oh, okay. And Kiki, but Kiki, I include Kiki in my immediate family. Yeah, yeah. She she's one of the people I would tell, but I would tell her and probably drop her some money and then stop answering her phone calls. <laughs> Listen, because just when you get some money from me, just don't ask no questions. Yeah, Take this don't ask you for no money. <laughs> Where you get that from? Listen, I got three more businesses I want to start. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I'm going to take me at least a couple thousand and go take me a good night's old vacation. And when I come back, we're going to talk business. Right. Let okay. me enjoy this moment. Let me <laughs> let me splurge with something before I got to go and really realize that I hit the fucking Powerball. Okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that that type of thing. <laughs> but I'd absolutely give her money. I give everybody in my immediate family money. And some of my friends I know, too, that's doing little businesses and stuff that, mm -hmm. hey, get that drink off the ground. Or get it. But, but you, you always need extra money when you start in the business. Right. Even when your business been up for a year or two years, sometimes you still need that money. So it ain't my—I ain't gonna say all of them, but some of the friends they have business and stuff. I probably slide them some money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how much money I get, Kiki, I'll probably give her a G wagon. Oh, we she, would love that. We, we have like the uh, like uh, we're a secret bond, I guess. You know, over whatever. Anyway, so music just this, went in my head when you said we secret have this bond, bond like that. that or, or this pack that we made, it's not even a pack either. Damn it, I've got the wrong word. But anyway, hey, we had this thing that if one of us like made it super wealthy, 
that we would buy the other one their dream car. Mm -hmm. So hers was a G wagon, and mine is you know she would cry her little eyes so, like a baby. Yeah, I would. I depend on if I gave her money or whatever, which I probably would. Cause she always trying to start some other business. You know, I slide mm -hmm. her some money and probably get her she a G wagon. Her and then everybody else will probably just get money because I wouldn't know what to do, you know. And then even, like I said, with, with my friends' businesses and stuff, you know what I'm saying? I would be coming in as, like, I don't know. Not the, I wouldn't want to be the the one that, you know, I, I don't want to jump in your business or nothing like that. Like, I just want to be, like, a, here you go, I'm donating this into your business fund mm -hmm. type of thing. But, yeah, anyway, that's probably what I would do. And, like I said, who I would tell but I wouldn't tell mostly anybody. You ever seen the people go sign in checking them full blown? Yes, be I me. would have a whole mess be Because it's too much to so somebody will know who I am. I can't show my loss. They will know who I am. No, I'm a, I'm a hot. See, this is the, but that's that's the reason, like, when they say most people that really have money, they're not really dressing really flashy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like y'all thinking about it, you're like, damn, if I had all that money, I wouldn't want to be known to have all that money. I would feel da 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 da. I'd still be the same way I am. I would be walking around. I got to got one pair of red bottoms, but I ain't buying it myself. I ain't walking around with red bottoms and I ain't still be shopping. Yeah, you know, I'm not. It, uh, the only thing that would probably change about me is I might, I might do something stupid like get a chef for a little while or something like that because I'm very very picky with what I eat and then I don't eat a lot of things on top of that so that that's probably something that I blow a lot of money on like a personal chef for a little while I'm gonna blow a lot of money on this house oh uh, <laughs> yeah that's that's not you know obvious that's the obvious it's a few things that I know for sure I would do buy a bunch of stuff that I need for my business and absolutely get that off the ground because I would have all the funds to do it. And then, um, you know, a house, a car, saving for Naya. Anything else is, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. I wonder, can you write, write it off in your taxes as a donation if you like, you know, hit the lottery and then you like, um, you know, give some to your friends, small businesses. You should. Yeah, I think so. Right, leave mm -hmm. me alone. But guys, so would, would y'all let people know if y'all hit the number? I to know your fam. I let people know. I got bread already. No matter. Yeah, <laughs> but like you talk, you know, we're talking about. Now, if I hit the lottery, it, I mean, I would just do. I, it just accelerate some of uh, the the moves I'm I'm making. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. so it's that it. I that's that's I. How I run in it and plan my life, that's already coming. So it's like, it's just going to accelerate some things. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, people would uh, could know. It, it don't matter to me. Right. And then, you know, I told somebody no in a minute. So even if, it, even if everybody did know, no. I mean, what you going to do? Stop oh, saying yeah. My, my no is, my no is crazy. Like, huh? I said my no game is crazy. Yeah. No. No. What you want it for? I be too nice though sometimes, especially if they come with some type of soft story or something. I'd be like, okay, no. 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 Because if you pass out all your money, you won't have anything for any of the things you want to do with it. Yeah. Absolutely not. No. No. Nope. Okay, well, moving on. So this is my last thing. And I'm going to explain where I'm coming from. This is no funny, no no gay stuff, no like weirdness to none of it. We I had a serious conversation like last night about this. So I was talking to one of my friends. She's gay, straight gay, right? So she asked me, "What would I do if my soulmate was the opposite sex?" Because she'll shit. Okay, start from the beginning. She asked me. What I do, I see myself being with a female and like long term, like marriage, marriage, all that. Because, and she said that because she says, I'm, I'm always talking about being with a man. And I'm like, I never gave myself like the full thought of fully being with a woman and just with a woman. Like, and when I'm thinking about a woman, I'm thinking about me and her, but we still got him, you know? So it was never like how. And this is how I was trying to explain it to her last night. Like me, when I have a, a, a checklist of a man, I'm like, oh, he meet this box, this box, this box. But if I'm looking at a woman, 
And she probably got all and check all the boxes, but because she's a woman, I'm not looking at that from her. I'm looking past that because I'm like, all oh, this in my man, my mind is that I want a man. I mean, I want a woman. Like I like women too, but I want a man, right? Okay. So um, she's like, well, what if your soulmate is the opposite sex? And like you I mean, said, the same sex. I mean, yeah, the same sex that you like, the opposite sex of what you like. So she's like, she say that because she had a boyfriend years, 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 years ago. She never had sex with Amanda, but they was boyfriend and girlfriend and they became the best of friends. I guess they're still friends now, but they like real close. And she's like, she thinks that that is her soulmate, but she's not, she don't like him. Like she's not, not, she not sexually attracted to him, but like yeah. mentally and you know. How she want her girl to be is how he is. He, all the boxes that she have checked, he, like he checked them. So, what if your soulmate is the opposite sex of what you were attracted to? Did you tell her that she should give it a shot? No, <laughs> I did. She said, "Hell no!" <laughs> like, what now? I know that shit. But and and it made me think more. And not this is not for like y'all guys or nothing like that. But um, I mean, you can still comment if you want to. But it made me think that maybe. I should Yeah, I feel like it's a man. But what if it is a female? Keep on and I'm like, keep on manifesting it. Molly said, "I want to marry a black man," and she married a black man. Who the fuck is Molly? Insecure. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, she heard she married a black man. I I'm, I'm so I sorry. I did not mean to spoil it. It's okay. It's okay. I was still watching. Um, but yeah. So, and then I'm thinking, you know, that my soulmate is a black man. What if he's a white man? What if he's Chinese? Or Spanish or something. All I'm thinking about is black chocolate man. <laughs> so I'm gonna, and I told her, like, I'm gonna try to open up more and get out of just the black man because my, my soulmate could be something else. Mm -hmm. It could be. I know, Absolutely. but I don't I don't know if and like I told her, because I, I think that she she wants more with me than I want with her. But I will open up more to to see if I can look at females in a in a different way because I don't really take females serious. Like, like if example, if I'm talking to a girl right and she t and she tells me, um, uh, text me or send me your location, right? Okay, and send it. So I don't want to have that. I what I would do for him, I wouldn't do for her. You know, so I don't know. But I just because it's a female, I'm like, how do you like? I like the dominant. You know, you, if you, you a female, you a dominant female. I don't take no because you're not dominant to me because you you a female. What, what if you act? You maybe you should look into finding a female that is actually a dominant because you're a brat. I don't know if you know those terms, those BDSM terms, but no. you're a Brett is um and somebody called me a Brett the other day. Definitely um, is a Brett. Um, that, that's what made me look back up the, the terms and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um like kneel down. You know what I'm saying? And you're like, mm -hmm. and then the person like, you better kneel the fuck down, and then you did. Like, okay, you right. <laughs> I'll kneel down. Right. That's me. <laughs> it's like I'ma listen, but I'ma make you work for me listening. I'm not about to just shut the fuck up and listen. You know what I'm saying? So maybe you you actually need to talk to a female that is a dom, a, you know, a dominant female. Yeah. And I don't mean dominant as like the dom, yes, lesbian term. Mm -hmm. I mean I, as yeah, like the yeah. the leading authority term. Yeah, I think that's what I need because I ain't need no female like that that yeah. I can actually. You you need you need to be like um you need a girl like the I don't know if y'all seen a few months ago it was like a lot of big girls that was like in this cult for this stud girl lesbian cult 
for the girl uh, that used to be fat. Yeah, yeah. And she, she, she was, she had her, uh, she had her a little uh, chick that that she called daddy, call call me daddy, call her daddy or some shit. Mm-hmm. I would ain't never call nobody daddy. I would that never call a female daddy. I'm just like calling call no man. Like I got a daddy. Yeah, you're right. If I was dating guys, I wouldn't call a guy no. daddy either. Like it's just I, I think it. That is a, such a turnoff. Like, ooh. Yeah, some people like it. I. It's not for Mm-mm. me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so like, what if your soulmate is a man? Damn. Or do you feel like any of your your friends or what if your soulmate's a man, Reese? You've been with men before. I, yeah, like, I have, and, like I, and I know that I didn't <laughs> like it. You know, I didn't mm-hmm. like it. So if my man, if my soulmate is a man, then I guess I'll probably be single the rest of my life. Um, because it's that was just it, I wasn't interested. Um, physically, um, sexually, like you know, I'm just not in the guys like that. Um, I, no, make sure to throw up. It will make me want to throw up. You know what I'm saying? But it it I I wouldn't if somebody you know if if the universe slapped me in the face and was like, this is your person. Here's here's a picture in his name. And I walk past him on the street. I walk past him on the street. You wouldn't want to be friends? I would be friends. I would be friends with some, like, I would if, like if to be somebody friends said, with my yeah, if, if I found out my soulmate was a guy, I'd absolutely be friends with him. Why not? Shit. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because that obviously means that we would connect on whatever level we connect on. Mm-hmm. But to get in a relationship, to have sex, to kiss, I never sucked a dick before to get my face that close to one. <laughs> is I I don't know. It's it's Ooh. not for me. You know, and, and some some women do, you know, they'll be gay and then go, you know, talk to guys or whatever after a while or something. I just I, you know, I, I don't need to to know the what if with guys because I, I had it already. Mm-hmm. So I don't I don't need the what if, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So no, but I'd absolutely be their friend, and then I probably, you know, would just have finally have my whole phase because obviously nobody would marry me if that was. My but soulmate. I think some people still get married and it's not they soulmate. Some I people never I find a soulmate. I want Some people never find. What if your soulmate is like in another country? You better get the traveling ninety fiance. I would so do ninety day fiance. I would so do a, a long term relation. I mean, a long distance relationship. Like the the more and more I think about it, and especially dealing with um you know people that like to text a lot, like mm-hmm. I I'm a phone person. I can absolutely fall for somebody on the phone. Like text, no. But like I you know I can sit around on Facetime all day, sit around on the phone all day. Like I'm that type of person. But what happens on snow days like this when you be in the house for days at a time, and your person is so oh I'm gonna be God. on the phone just telling you how much I miss you. That's so sad. Now, and, and when I say long distance, I mean somebody that maybe lived like two hours or less away. Yeah, okay. I could be because, there. yeah, I, I wouldn't want like, the out. person to have to get. Yeah. I don't know. Hopefully, I found my soulmate this year. I put it on my vision board. I hope I find my soulmates or mates as well. And I did not put anything about love on my vision board. And I do not plan on putting anything about love on my vision board. Well, I didn't last year, so I said, probably not give it a choice this year. What the heck? I'm feeling love in the air. Okay. You know, all the love in the air and stuff like that. But, you know, yeah, I want... I don't know. I mean, I'm obviously ready to find, you know, whatever forever person is for me, mm-hmm. or if I already know the person, I don't mind backtracking. Um, <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. And, you know, if, I, if it was if somebody, it's to be, yeah, if somebody already know or something like that. I remember when I was 16, I think, and I was in Jamaica, and um, a, 
uh, very looks like a guy. He could have been running game. He was like, I'm going to marry somebody that I know for a really, that I knew for a really long time. I didn't know at the time if he was saying I met the person already or not, but um, he did something that I'm going to marry somebody enough for a long time. I don't know how long a long time is. Right. And they ain't give me no other information. I remember that shit too. He said yeah. that, he said that the same thing about me that I was going to marry somebody that I knew for a long time. He said that he was light skinned. And I was like, light skinned? First of all, I don't know that many light skin, and I don't want light skin. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't mm. give me no info, so I don't know. He, I don't know if he was really like running game. Because first of all, he said I was gonna be Murray Young. I'm not young no more. Girl, you are still young. I mean, what? Well, well, I don't know. I guess maybe when I was sixteen, I was getting young, like twenty. It's different. Thirty, man. We walk around thirties killing shit. But. Is 30s young to be married? I feel like 20s is young. I feel like 20s is too young to get married. We all have different opinions yeah. on it. Do whatever know. fit for it. <laughs> whatever fit for you at the time. Yeah, I guess. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys. I wish I had a joke, and I would have had a joke if I ain't dropped my phone in the middle of the ocean. I had all the jokes in there, y'all. Y'all wasn't going to be ready. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to be real excited about it. I ain't going to last minute. That's his day. I had so mad. many. I'm so mad. But it's okay. I'm going to figure this shit back out. I'm going to get it back together. And I'm going to have my jokes for y'all every week. All right, cool. Man, I, then I do the triple one already. Bryce is uh, calm now. He's been beating me up the entire podcast. Big time, man. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, make sure you go. I'm going to say Ronnie's spot. And that's like, uh, subscribe share comment all that good stuff follow us on social media at on our own media and uh yeah tell a friend yes. tell a friend mm-hmm. to follow we got multiple pages on our page i mean multiple segment things and mm-hmm. some you will like some mm-hmm. some for everybody so yeah but anyway peace love and positivity happy 2022 let's make it a bomb ass year it's looking like money this year. Looking like money. I like that. <laughs> we out, y'all. Oh, I got a pee.